as you can see I've got the magnetic drill up it's not really something I can film while we're doing it because it's be a bit a bit hairy so the magnet which is here because that's only two and a half mil it it won't magnetize to that really well it needs to have um, a thicker thicker steel to magnetize to it. it it will stick but soon as you put pressure on the on the drill onto what you want to drill it'll it'll lift off will demagnetize and then if you do it too far the whole drill will fall off so you just add a thicker piece um, clamp it on and, and you, you're right to go so I have I do have an extended drill um, which is 25 mil and if you look in there I have drilled out the first one and I've center pop it because they only work on a on a center pop and um, yeah, three more drills and I, um, I'll be done and then put the plate back in with four more of those for the um, for the other piece Here we go. Um, got the rear shackle outriggers. So these are the ones I pulled off earlier. Um, pretty rusty. So I was basically going to rebuild these um, with the material I've got. So. Um, what I've got, or what this is, is 150 by 100 by um, 2.4 mil, 2.5, uh, 
but I've got um, something a little bit heavier. So basically, I've got 100 by 150. I've remade, remade the shape. Um, I've cut all these brackets out. I've just got to uh, bring them in. Measure that. You've got 90 mil and 100 mil that way. So this here is 89 by three. 89 by 89 by 3 mil SHS and basically I've marked it out. That's the way it will go. Um, drill that hole, cut it and um, make a whole brand new one. So, <coughs> distance in between that. Um, is 82 mil and the distance between here is 81.5 so it's very close and then there's these washers these thickness of bush washers Fix washers, um, which which are about 40 mil, I think, from memory, about 40, 44, and um, measure measure that there, about 10.4, 10.5, and 4.4. So my mass is right. That works out to be a uh, six mil washer. So I've cut these these washers. I've just plasma cut a hole. The outside will be right. They're a bit they're a bit smaller, about 40 mil, and um, 5.8, six mil. So um, the dimension. From there to there is going to be 9.79, and up here is 10.5. So I mean, there's going to be a little bit of play there, but um, we'll get away with that. So this hole takes. Um, I've got the rear. Um, they're the screwed ones that have the thread. You see blokes trying to bash the, the bolt out, but it's actually um, threaded on one end. And that's a bit of a trick. So, 916 bolt, and you can see um, there's a lot of wear, wear on the, the shackle bush over the years. So, um, 916s uh, 14.2 um, mil in the um, in the new money, and if I put that through there. Um, if I put that all the way up. I'm thinking that is way too sloppy. Um, like it. So if I, if I measure that hole, it's about 15.4 mil. That's nearly a mil oversized, but you can see where the bush, centre of the, the bush has been rotted in on that on that plate. Um, yeah, which which uh, which is obviously worn it out, and this side here is fourteen point nine seven. So I'm not too concerned um, on that hole. 
because I'm just going to drill it 916 or 14.2. I'll run those ones through the lathe. So um, basically remake all that and away we go. something like that. I'll get all the measurements. Um, yeah, once I get all the other bits, we'll uh, tack it all up and um, boil them all, all off, finish him off, then take him on on the chassis. So, um, I've manufactured uh, the shackle brackets, so um, they're the ones I did on the lathe. Uh, this here is is 89 by 89 by 3 SHS. So um, basically. This piece here is a is a U section or a channel, and it's got a um, a gusset on on the underside, and it's got two gussets that sit on the back. So um, measuring that in between, I've got. Um, 6944. We check that again. It varies a little bit just because of the 69.5 and the one I've, I've fabricated, um, 69.7. So uh, I've I've machined that that bush. To 916, which is 14.2 mil, um, and I've I've re-drilled it again after I weld it because the bush the bushes uh, shrink tend to shrink a bit. So I'm happy. I've reproduced that exact um, that exact component, but basically can be mounted there. Um, I did cut all my plates with my plasma cutter, so basically that's going to go on there, and um, another plate. I've actually 
I'm actually going to make that a full, a full plate to the top. As you can see, that one is only a, there's a gap. So I think I've gone through this before. All the crap, all the sand and mud and crap just goes straight down that there, and then it sits down inside and. There's a reason why it's, it's all rotted out there because that crap just sits there. I'll, um, plate, plate, and then um, and then I've, I've bent these up, cut them, bent them up on my arm press. So basically that's going to sit in there like that. Um, probably just needs a little bit of a trim, but um, exactly like that one. And then on the back side, there's, um, there's two gussets that sit on, on here, and they cross over and they get welded to your chassis, your, sh your bottom of your chassis. Um, and then I've, I've got the bracket. This one here sits up. I've redone that. That one. Cut that out again on the plasma. Reproduce that. And cut that. That little bracket on the plasma, ready to go. So, um, yeah, one thing I did find, I guess, um, these holes, these shackle holes, are, again, they're 916, and in metric, you've got to be about 4.2, so that's 15.5. Um, that's over a mil. Um, slot in there and then 14.9 so 15 again so this is the original um, bolt so if you notice you can see you can see where it's ridden on the bush over the years and yeah you wonder what why stuff sort of starts flogging out. I mean, there's no way I would reuse that um, that bolt. So, 14.18, close enough. And then at the top of the shank, where it hasn't worn, but I'll measure the shank where it has. It's 13.6 um, down there and 13.6 again. And then bang on that, it's back up to 14, 14 mil. So that's flogged out, but there's no way to put that in there. There's no way you would spend all this time and reuse that and reuse that. So I've basically bought new bolts. Um, I was amazed how um, easy I got these just from a bolt supplier off the shelf. So it's a it's a exact replica of that nine sixteen by five inch is what you want. Um, so putting that in there, like there's. There's no play whatsoever in that. And um, but to measure that, 14.1. But basically I'm pretty happy with that because that's there's no play whatsoever. It's all square, squared it all up, double checked it. So um, yeah, all I gotta do is um, put them back together, pack them up. Um, I've got a little jig made up 
to um, reposition these back on the chassis but I mean I've got the drawing there and I've noticed the front um, the front shackle um, mounts yeah they're flogged out again so um, and they're actually a bit different these ones are the same thickness but the front has a thinner one and a thicker one on that side so the, obviously the, the lug or the bracket's fine but I'll probably just I'll cut them off and I'll machine up um, a new one and we'll just run new bushes on them and re-weld them up so that's I guess where I'm at at the moment um, ready to go with all the bits um, yeah. so next next project is take it all together weld it all out and have it ready to go